So today, I want to talk about a phone, but not just any phone, the iPhone 14 Pro. And not just all of it, I want to talk about one specific part, the camera. So, I really like my intro. I know that I was just shown, so I hope you guys do. Write down in the comments if you think it's good. I did not make it, I took it from a site that was thinking for free if you watched an ad. So I watched an ad got a free intro, so I think that was a good deal. Anyway, this is all about the iPhone 14 Pro camera. Because as you probably know, owing my video up top, I have an iPhone 14 Pro and it is amazing. It's so much better than my 7. My 7 is terrible. It's just, it had a terrible camera, terrible battery life. And I am going to make a video on battery life soon, so stay tuned. And the first thing I want to do is talk about the zoom and ultra wide. So the zoom and ultra wide on this phone are really, really good. If you see this is a photo of my bookshelf. It this is on the one times photo, 12 megapixel, because it does have a 48 megapixel mode, and it looks really, really good. The next one is ultra wide. That is so cool. It's like a fisheye lens. It basically takes the whole outside and it's like a panorama, but better. And then you have two times zoom, but never mind. That one was one, another one time zoom. This is two times zoom. So this is very, very good. And then the next one is three times zoom. That is crazy that you can read that. These books are just the books I happen to have in my bookshelf, not sponsored. I've said that 30 times and I bet you're getting tired of that. And then Next is a photo of my sheets, and this is just one times, but look at this. The texture on there, they're like these sheets, and like it looks so good. You, you can definitely tell that it was taken on a big camera. Then there's the ultra ride again. Again, looks fisheye. And then two times zoom, and three times zoom. That is insane. It's, it's so cool with all the things that it has. And then this is very, this is, 48 megapixel macro. Look at that. That is insane. You can like see the little texture of it. That it's so cool. The next one is this is a um, just a normal one time zoom photo. And then if I zoom out, this is a 48 megapixel photo. Look how detailed that is. Like if you zoom into the water bottle, you can pretty much read the brand. If you zoom into the bookshelf, you can look read all, read all the titles of the books. It's really, really cool. And then this is also another 48 megapixel one. You can see like the little reflection of the light and you can see the really good texture on the ground. And that is so good and really cool. And then the next two are videos, which I will play now. So this is the videography experience. It sounds pretty good. And the video is really, really nice. This is what I've been using to film a lot. I had to use an iPad to film this, so hopefully it doesn't look terrible because I am taking these shots before I do the editing. But it does really seem pretty nice, and I do think I can use this, and it will turn out pretty, pretty well. This is 1X on ProRes, so it's very, very good. Um, 3X kind of gets a little hairy, and then 9X is the optical for uh, video and it does not look good. Like this is my finger. I can get my finger in frame. That that's not good. This is what my finger looks like normally. And now I'm going to switch to cinematic. This is cinematic mode. As you can see, you can focus on things. Like you can focus on the side of my bed. And you can walk around, and it looks really really good. It does have to process for a little bit, which is kind of annoying. You can like focus on my nightstand or you can focus on my chair and it looks really 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 good focus on that laptop in the corner that i might make a video on later and it looks it, you can definitely tell it's focusing on something if i put like my finger here i can have it focus on that and blur the background and it looks really really cool it's it's just very, very good, and it's gonna level up the video quality tremendously. And one thing they actually added this year is the ability to shoot uh, 4K footage in cinematic mode. So I will definitely do that. 
because before people couldn't use it, like Mr. Boss who says, The iPhone cinematic mode now works in 4K, which is high enough quality that I would actually use this feature regularly. And obviously I don't want to only export in HD as a tech YouTuber, so I'm gonna use 4K. So this is what it looks like in the camera app. You can see we have a bunch of different things here. Time-lapse, which is pretty much on every phone. Slow-mo, which is pretty much on every phone. Cinematic, which is a new feature that they only just allowed 4K footage. So I usually export in 4K, which takes years. But hopefully you could go and put this video in 4K. And then there's normal video, which for some reason looks really, really dark. Normal photo. Portrait mode, which looks really good and panoramic, where basically you move your phone and it stitches the photos together. It's kind of like if you don't have an ultra wide, it's a really good idea. And then some other things, you got your flash, you've got your uh, exposure, and then more manual controls. And then this is even more you can control how big the photo is, your live photo, exposure, more exposure, for timing, if you want to set it up, just walk away and then have a snap photo. Then you can control raw or not pro raw, and then live. So it doesn't have amazing, and it doesn't have a ton of features, but what it does have are really solid. And that is all the photos that I've taken to show you guys, and they're all really, really good. For the zoom, it doesn't have amazing zoom, like Samsung has space zoom on their phones, which can go up to 100 times. Not that anyone really wants to do that, but one of the really, really cool side effects of having a 48 megapixel main camera is it can zoom in and not lose any quality, which is really, really, really good. As long as, like, two times and still get a 12 megapixel photo. Only thing is, the way to get these things off the phone is kind of slow. Lightning is not a very good cable, and I can't wait till the USB-C iPhone comes out. An AirDrop works okay, but it's not the most reliable, and I still prefer a cable. But that is basically it. Um, it is a really, really make good camera, and I am using it to shoot these videos. Um, the um, iPhone 14 Pro review should be out next week, so subscribe down there if you want to go see that. That'll be really, really cool. And thanks for watching. Peace out.